Hello. How are we? Good. All right. Cheerful, cheerful as ever. That question that I've asked for the last 31 weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, episode 31. Hello. We're recording this on Monday afternoon. I've got a two-day hangover, so I'm still on the look aid. Different bottle from last week, though. Um, yeah, me and Kyle were at the, the Belsey Beer Festival on Saturday in Dumfries. It was excellent. Um, nice, uh, yummy beers and ciders and such. Paying for it now, if you were keeping your eyes out on the Instagram social. Uh, Kyle put some updates on some of the beers we were drinking. Oh, yeah, Bassa being a personal favourite of mine from the Winton Brewery. I would say shout out to the Winton Brewery and Lily Cider as well. Yeah, Lily okay. Cider is excellent. I was not at the Bel- Belty, but I have had it before. That's what they had in, that's what the like the local stall, like the, the rugby club had a stall, and it was Lily Cider. But then my favourite was the Winton Brewery, and we spoke to them and their sound, and they also reposted our stuff, so hopefully a wee collab in the future. They did a but, smash in a slushy as well, peach raspberry cellar. Oh, it's be slushy. Yeah, that, that was the Oyabasa flavour, actually, but I, I, the slushy was very good, and it was very really cooling in the heat, but I preferred it just as, as a pint, it was good. It's, okay. not, it's not Fanta Great Ghoul. No, it's plain. Um, I have water. <laughs> yeah, we're all we're all working, so and it's a Monday afternoon, so no bevy. And I had plenty oh, of the weekend. Oh sorry, do I get on your whole work schedule as well? Yeah, I'm working on uh prank. Good to be a protest outside. Easy. Uh, Right, I'm wearing this top. I can't, Greg maintains that I wore it, but I can't remember when. Third kit from last season, I think. The Castor number. We're all, for a change, we're not, none of us are wearing a Queen's top. Yeah, that does make a change. Over there. On. Um, Greg, that wee number. I like that top, actually. Yeah. see that many last... teams with New Balance as a, spot, as a kit maker. Liverpool had them for a while. Certainly yeah, good. True, actually. Says you with Castor, but you know what I mean. Yes. It's not like a preferred uh, minimal last... warrior. <laughs> yeah, last season's Car City home top. Um, spot the Bluebirds on it. Um, celebration of Car City's new manager Errol Bullet, who was appointed um this weekend, formerly of Fenerbahce. Cardiff have been promised, despite being under a semi-transfer embargo with the Emmanuel Salah scandal, um, the chairman promised, along with the manager, one signing to get the fans really involved, that the fans would be really happy about. So I can't wait for Gareth Bale and Aaron Ramsey to come out of retirement and get absolutely halved in the championship next year. No, it's something like bloody Gary Hooper or something. I reckon it might be Kiefer Moore on loan, to be honest. Where's he there? Oh, like a Hal Robson Canoe at retirement. <laughs> no, the lights, the lights, this one lights go off and uh, they just come back on and on the halfway line standing Greg Notman in his full card of kit. <laughs> He's Monday Owls on. I've got the GoPro on for the podcast so I can record it while <laughs> I'm on. That'll be a good watch. Just, just... <laughs> right so um I, as i said this is recording us on monday uh, this week it... oh sorry i thought you said not me uh, just the roma button as usual disappointed did they watch it so is, is that big glad fan? you didn't watch it it's a neutral uh, topic off my birthday when i was 16 so it's far too long in my life i won't get back that game yeah it was a bit it was a bit boring Controversy with that penalty at the end. So. The Montiel. We'll come on to that. Um, well. No, we, no, no, we are going to come on to that. Um, aye, it's been a busy week in terms of finals, so we've got quite a lot to talk about. First of all, we're starting in Scotland. The Scottish Cup final was on Saturday. Celtic secured the treble. Shock. Uh, Inverness did get a goal. They did. It's a good job they didn't follow my advice of leave at half time to make the train because you, you would have missed your goal. Yeah. There's only two uh, so it wasn't even that big a squad in either. Three one. Three one. Was it three? I thought it was two. Got to score it in added time at the end, yeah. Uh, but the big talking point is, I mean, 
it was a finals. I think how we all can expect it to run out. But um, Ange has been saying that basically implied that he would be taking the job. He's booked his favourite and now up coming out with some media sources. Sky Sports has been one of them. And uh, big Fabrizio Romano is are saying that uh, he's asked Celtic for permission to speak with Spurs. I've already reached a verbal agreement. So, oh, What do we think, man? Good idea, bad idea, don't care. What do you think? Good idea. It's... He's a good manager. He's looking at the job he's done. Um, he's ambitious. He's ambitious. He's... Yeah. There are lots of Spurs fans going, he's not worked anywhere big. We shouldn't be giving him the job. He's a project guy. He's not going to win his trophies straight away. Well, one, he's worked in Australia, Japan and Scotland. Arsene Wenger got the Arsenal job off of working in Japan and he was like the best manager they've ever had. Um, secondly, you tried building a squad that was capable of winning trophies now. You tried two managers who'd win you trophies now in Mourinho and Conte. And look at how well that ended. Like, the worst you can do is give him a chance. And... I think he knows as well as anyone else that he's not first choice. He's like fifth or sixth choice down the list after everyone else rejected them. Well, I think you've got to have a bit of ambition. And yeah, like you said, more of a project, but another season to build and then they might be challenging again. But I, st- I don't think there's any point in just appointing... Con- is it, who's the one? Is it, who's the other favourite? Is it Conte? The, the Wood Nagelsmann. Yeah, he's I mean, no. they've, all said, they've all said no. I think next on the list was Conte, but... Just like They're not getting Conte No, Conte, back. not Conte, not Conte. Uh, who was it? It was someone like that. Well, he's just left. I'm getting confused. It, they've all managed the same club, so... <laughs> Wait, I'm not going to lie to Big Sam. Big Sam might turn oh, up. Someone else. I don't know why I'm saying Conte. Anyway, point remains. I think Andrew will get it. I think it's a good idea for him. And to be honest, I'd be glad to see the back of him. And who takes over Celtic? Well, that's right. Scott I was, Brown. Um, Scott Brown, one name I have seen. I mean, I can't really see him going Rogers. completely with... Yeah, well, the other big name I was going to mention was Rogers. Uh, another one actually was Jesse Marsh. I seems to be the lean light. Um, Graham Potter. That was a name being mentioned as well. The thing is, you can't really, you can't really do that until he's actually left the job. You know what I mean? But surely, I think it's looking more. If they more want like to, it. if they want to maintain their momentum, I think they need to have a quick turnaround. I think he'll just take most quite a lot of the Celtic players with him. Like all the ones he brought he'll in. Definitely, he'll definitely think he'll go. Probably my Yuda as well. Nah, I, I, Kyogo, I could see. The problem is, you look, at, you look at that Spurs side and you go, where's the room for improvement? And, you know, it's not a bad side on paper. Defence isn't amazing. But up front, like, they should be doing better than they are. Yeah. Harry Kane's probably away. You're going to go year? Yeah, but Real Madrid are allegedly sniffing about. Was there only a new striker with Benzema leaving? Yes. He's away from the money. This should have got somebody I'm, a bit I'm younger. Still trying, I'm still trying to think of who it was I was thinking of when I kept saying Conte, but I'll come back to you. Um, nah, I don't know. I think Harry Kane will leave it. Then he's out his contract first. And then just leave enough for you. Like you said last week, you've got his money's worth. I think if a decent offer comes in from Madrid, I think he'd go. Would Levy let him go? Probably not. God knows. Yeah, so that's... That's the... the I think I can, by the time we've uh, released this... Or re- finish recording it actually, something will come out in the news because that's what happened the last time we discussed something re- relatively uh, recent. Like, what was it? Again? It was the Scottish Cup final about the kickoff times. Yeah, uh, we had a five minute discussion, and then as soon as we were prepped and recording, they released saying they changed the time. Yep, so yeah, and obviously, just before the Scottish Cup final was the FA Cup final, Manchester City are on course for the treble, uh, a goal within the first minute. Some strike though. I never seen it. I saw it this morning. It was some strike. Um, should it have been a penalty? Yes. Yeah. It brushed his fingers like he got his back to the boy. Was it a penalty? Yes. Should it be a penalty? No. I mean, it is a penalty according to the laws as they're written. 
are the laws as they're written, especially RE handball, useful and good and what should happen? No. But you can't moan about the application of the law. Yeah. It's applied correctly. There's nothing they could do because you couldn't see the bloody ball. I know, but in the law that doesn't matter. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> one of these things. We should maybe do a referee special one week with our SFA qualified referee Greg Nutton and taking that the rings on that one. That's far too many years old. I need a refresh. Yeah, you don't. So the point remains, you got it. Did they matter in the long run, so you can't even moan too much. No. Yeah. I think so we do if we're gonna win it. Can do the double. That is usual. He can does what he wants. And Manchester yeah. United fans going home crying, that's what we love to see. I also saw someone had a very offensive Hillsborough uh, printed top on, so he got the he's been arrested. He got, yeah, he got the lifted. Good. I'm led to believe um, through Twitter, so this is definitely probably not correct. He was previously known as a member of Britain First, so that's you know all you need to know about that subject. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll leave it at that. This is yeah, this, this is politics. This is football. I did enjoy the um, interviews in the lead up to that game where they kind of did interviews with Man United fans and Man City fans and the Man United fans were all kind of like London, you know, they all were very Southern spoken and then there's the very Mancunian Man City fans and it just kind of emphasises the difference between the teams really. It's Man, City fans, saw... Man City fans are local to be fair, so. Usually, yeah. Man U fans usually are not Man City have had have fans have been slagged off for years and years since they started doing well. Like they always they get the empty had just been such an example. They're getting called that and then they I feel they always get slagged off. I don't think maybe it's always merited. There's I been guess, a lot there's there's a lot of loyal Man City fans who've been through thick and thin. I think when they won the league twenty twelve a lot of like these new Man City fans just became a thing. Yeah. Well we went to school we did the same thing, we just became Man City fans. Yeah. Overnight. It's like walking through the, a wee town and seeing and Scotland seeing hundreds of Man City talks, but I suppose it's the same by any club. But Man United as well, you see them come at the woodwork and such. You see the kind of you know, it's just how football kind of is, especially around here. Yeah. Like just in general, like I think I read something they were talking. Uh, there was a video of Man United fans celebrating the penalty in a pub in Cardiff, and it's just really sad. That there's a pub full of Man United fans in Cardiff. Well, Man United and Liverpool are something like the two biggest teams in South Wales, and considering that are two pretty high-level teams in South Wales, that's quite surprising and quite terrible. I think it's because most will cover like a top six team, they like or top five, I suppose. You can kind of apply that to Scotland with Rangers and Celtic. I know. I'm just saying it's kind of the same issue, and you've got yeah. pubs of that stature, but I agree. They've just got an old firm team they like as well, usually. Not Lots of people will say they don't, yeah. Yeah, but they secretly do. Not so sure. <laughs> just means that my energy sure. drinks. I, I, th- I think there's, um, but I think there's a genuine band of like Aberdeen and Hibs and Hearts fans who genuinely hate them both. Yeah, no, you do get that. Well, a pref- probably still have a preference though. Not so sure. Well, yeah, that was kind of a quick review, but there wasn't really much to talk about. However, uh, a very exciting game. Uh, I switched it on last night. I was at a family meal, but I switched it on just as Ross County scored again. It was the Scottish Championship playoff final last night, second leg up in Dingwall, and Partick Thistle blew a 3 0 lead on aggregate to lose on penalties. What were we saying? I mean, I went to Tesco's. Um... It was 3 0 in aggregate to Partick Thistle. I came back and Ross County had scored twice. Mad. I did the same. I went 3 0, so I went home away to day something. I came back and it was 3 0. <clears throat> Obviously, it ended up in a penalty shootout, which I feel like a lot of finals are ending up nowadays. Um, but yeah, Ross County are safe. They're still in the Scottish Premiership, unlike what Sky Sports said, saying they were. They were uh, staying in the SPFL. Well, they would have been staying in the SPFL regardless because they'd only dropped out of the championship. But uh, saw a lot of uh, gutted Partick fans on Twitter. What, what do we think? Yeah, yeah. 
And to be fair, they, I mean, they were, how, they're not about half an hour away from the Premier League and they've messed it up. They're not half speak. away. Yeah. So they're about, they're like a few minutes because it's going yeah. to the 91st minute. I think I worked out though, in that game they played, um, like they played 105, they played 15 minutes added time in the first half and the second half combined. I think they played like five or six in extra time as well. So they played nearly a hundred and like forty minutes of football in total. They played a ridiculous amount of football. Yeah. Well, Fitzpatrick scoring again. Ex Queen's player. We've made the point of its favourites the big teams, but like Spartak have played I don't know, eight games in about two weeks. Yeah, yeah I said I... this. Go for it. it. It's one of my main gripes with that playoff system. That that playoff system is kind of you know below that championship to league one league one to league two it's kind of fair and that all four play each other the same whereas this, yeah whereas this one seems rigged in terms in favor of the premiership team i oh, know the premiership different. well because the leagues finish at different times because they play different amounts of games mm-hmm. but also the fact that like i know ross county and folk will say oh but you know, we all say, oh, Partick have played for the last couple of weeks, and folks will say, yeah, Ross County have too, but they've not played near the number of games and nearly with as much intensity. The only argument kind of uh, towards Partick in that is that Partick have momentum. Maybe they also ran out of puff. Yeah. They played two games a week, pretty much. Again, they're athletes, so they should be expected to, but it's not a fair uh, ask. We'll come on to it in, the, in our... Uh, reconstruction chat episode, but I believe that I think that for I think the, the two, bottom two should just go down, and then the winner of the playoff and the championship should just go up. I don't know. I don't know if I like this second, only one team going down and one team going up. I, I think there's problems with that though. Well, this is why we need like this is why we need reconstruction for me. Like twelve teams, two going down, isn't terrible, but in the championship, if you're then having a fourteen playoff in the championship, you've then got first. Who wins the league? You've got second to fifth, who are in a playoff. You've then got ninth, who are in a playoff, and tenth, who are relegated. So there's only three teams in the league something doesn't happen to, which yeah, isn't great. True. Consider how close the league is. It's a chance yeah. for four new four new teams in our division, which is something different. That's true. Yeah, the pros and cons are both sides. Uh, obviously, like you said, that's going to be one of our, our summer special, so we will chat about that. Um, on that subject, subject? Yeah. on the subject of reconstruction, I know we're going to do an episode on it. Queen's came out this morning and said they'll be voting against the proposed conference league um, alongside a raft of other teams. I don't know how that even have worked. I, I didn't really read that much up on it. I think you should it's explain for the folk at home who don't quite know, I eat me. Okay, so the idea was they were going to put a league between League 2 and the Highland Wolven League of 10 teams, four of which would be B teams and wouldn't be able to go up or down. So you'd only have, you'd have 10 teams, they'd all play each other nine, uh, four times. So you'd be playing like, like an extra league, basically. Uh, but four of those teams would be B teams, so you can't move up or down. So actually of the six teams, you know, you could technically finish fifth and get promoted and it was just an absolutely criminal idea you don't need any more b teams as it is we don't we need, need any more b teams. teams and we don't need another gap between the highland lowland leagues and the league two because we know that teams who come up can do better like can do all right and we know that teams below that in the pyramid are capable of getting in we need more opportunities up the pyramid it was hard enough to get out of that league as it is. Yeah, and it's even harder to get out of the like out of the leagues below the Highland the yeah. League. Yeah, scrap them. Silly so, villains. I'm quite glad that that proposal looks to be dead in the water. I believe they need a majority of members, and there is there are people keeping track of the number of clubs, and I think I don't think there's particularly many clubs in support of the idea. The interesting <laughs> thing is that Aberdeen were originally the fourth B team. In addition to the three we've got already, it was going to be Aberdeen, and then Aberdeen said they wanted no part in it. So they've basically been trying to find a fourth B team since, and it was at, it was Queens Park at one point who were potentially doing it. 
Yeah. Well, kind of quite unfair because Celtic have two B teams, don't they? They've got their B team and their under under eighteens team. And they've got Aberdeen There's... as well. Hmm? Aberdeen as well. Try to get in them. Uh, um, no, I don't think it's fair. It's just like Greg said, it's making it even harder for teams to get up. Um, I just think it's a stupid idea. It's it's all to do. They all they just want to suit the big teams. The other thing with that, actually, before we go to go back to the playoff, massive credit to Partick. They took two thousand, taken two thousand fans on a Sunday afternoon to Dingwall, which is a long trek. You know that's impressive. It's a good crowd. Yeah. They're, but they're one of the, I'd say, the better supported teams in Scottish football. When you look at, obviously, you've got your your Premiership teams, but then in terms of the other leagues, there's no really no one really bar them Fermline, occasionally Falkirk. Uh, Competing with those numbers. Dundee, but I suppose yeah. they're going in the Premiership. Dundee United now. Kamarnock. Yeah. But they're Premiership. Kamarnock are a well-supported team. They are Premiership, like, but yeah. Yeah. But you look... Aero as well, like, Yeah. They brought, they brought a lot to the last game of the season last year. When they put us down. But, uh, yeah. I can't remember what I was going to say, so just keep going. Or are we finished with that? Um... I think I've given more points. And just a wee sidetrack in terms of uh, promotions. Uh, congratulations to Queen of the South ladies who won the their playoff. Uh, they won two 0 against Harmony Row, and they are now going into the Scottish Women's Football League One. So, congratulations to them. Like I Love said, them ladies. Me and Kyle, maybe try. Hopefully, get to a game next year. Get to as many and tick as many off the list. But yes, congratulations. Yes. Good to see them doing well. So, um, moving on, uh, Europa League final review, as we've already kind of said. It was, he's wasn't disappeared, the best game. he's heard towards Europa League <laughs> final and he's off. Nah. He's fed up, he's off. I thought something off my microphone. He's broke his microphone. And you're still here, still listening. Uh, Sevilla win again, they're the, the, the masters of that competition. Um, and a, a finally a European Cup final loss for Jose Mourinho. He'll and, claim it uh, wasn't a loss. He'll claim it was a draw after ninety minutes. Close. He he does the predictions as well. Um, and penalties yet again. It was quite a. I I found it boring because it was intense in terms of. It was very much you scream at the referees many times you can do it but then it got a bit repetitive after a while I ended up going to do the dishes of that because I sums it up for you so as Italians in it we just hate the referees yeah his name's been out of my head you'll, you'll know it Greg Anthony Taylor Anthony that was Taylor. the one seen the thing yeah. at the airport also getting yeah. abused in the airport was fun with his wife and kids yeah it's yeah. despicable yeah Greg I yes. see Jose's been charged for his behaviour in the car park afterwards, though, which is good, and hopefully he will get a long ban for it. Do I explain for any viewers who missed that? Um, Jose Mourinho was waiting in the car Mr. park to have a go at Anthony Taylor um, and basically shouted at him in the car park, which just isn't on, really. Game's finished, you just got to get on with it. Yeah. It was over a penalty, wasn't it? A dodgy penalty or something. Yeah, it was just... He was a he, he done well. It was a difficult game to referee, and Jose didn't help that. I think none of them helped that. No, nipping away the whole game. It's not like four, 14 bookings or something. Yeah, and I don't Did even think that included staff. The commentary team were absolutely dire as always, but um, one of them made a point of saying should they be able to move the fourth official away from the technical area to make to do stuff because all he was getting was grief the whole game. But that's his job. His job is to stand there and control the technical areas and do the subs. Yeah, they were saying she do the subs a bit further across, but that was one of the points they made. But it kind of summed up the commentary because they were doing my head, and I muted it after about ten minutes listening to it. I sat and watched it in silence. Bob Savage. Uh, yeah. That's all you need to know. I, don't, I didn't go to what was watching it. I don't know who it was. I don't. Think, I don't Manaman, know. Who it was, was it not? Was it Manaman? It usually is. I can't quite Someone remember else, who like, it was. I can't remember the other guy's name, but I mean, that, that kind of shows you. It was Ian Dark who was the main commentator, who isn't terrible. It's usually that for me, usually the problem is the pundits, and it's not it's not exclusive to BT either. But 
like picking who they pick, it, they, they seem to be picked for no reason. Like, I get Neville and Carragher for Premier League, but it goes back to the discussion we had during the Milan derby in the Champions League, where BT had the Italian football experts there and didn't use them. Yeah. They just have, like, two legends, a legend from each team. If they exist. Or there's nothing wrong with using experts. Like, the last thing, no one wants to hear, like... Chris Sutton. Yeah. There's a prime example. John Hartson, there's a prime example. What does Owen Hargreaves know about the Milan Derby? But o- Owen Hargreaves isn't terrible. If you're playing like a German team or something, Owen Hargreaves can offer some insight. It's the... Some of them you can tell and know absolutely nothing about the players. And you can tell because they end up talking about Tammy Abraham's England prospects rather than the game in front of you. Yeah, and that's the issue. That's good as English though, as well. Like so, yeah. Aye. so yes, Sevilla won. Obviously, this week coming up, we've got the uh, UEFA, Ch- UEFA Europa Conference League. I'm trying to get the full title out on Wednesday night, I believe it is. Yeah, West Ham and Fiorentina. Can West Ham win it? Yes or no? Don't see why not. I think they yes. will. Yeah. Would you Would you class it as a, a successful season for them if they win it? I would say so. Because it was, it was kind of the same, although Rangers were second last year, they said if the Europa, they didn't win the Europa League, would it be classed as an unsuccessful season because they didn't win the league? But as to, with West Ham, it was they just stayed up. I don't think so. I think they won you know, the conference. You know. I've read from some fairly half-decent journalists, actually, that given kind of how much money West Ham have compared to how many other teams are in that competition, for West Ham not to have won it would be... It's quite something, really. You know, you look at it, the top, is it the top four teams only get one team in the Europa, in the Conference League, and then, like, the further down the pyramid you go, the more teams you get. And I know there's the people who get knocked out of the Europa League, who finish third in their groups. But um, the fact that we've managed to get two of the teams from the two big nations, I think reflects quite badly. Mm. You know, the Conference League was meant to give teams who wouldn't normally get to a European final the chance to get to a European final. And that has happened. West Ham. But I I don't think it's the way they intended it to. You know, had it been Lech Poznan versus Basel in the final, for me, that would be more interesting because it's like small... I'd rather it was bigger clubs from smaller nations than smaller clubs from bigger nations. I get what you're saying. It'll be, I think it'll be a good game. I'll, I'll bet it'll be another extra yeah, time job. Yeah, another, probably a penalty. But um, uh, European stake, Europe, sorry, European football at stake for both the teams next season because they both aren't in a position that they've qualified already. So, Fiorentina, of course, in Hearts' group at the start of this competition. Yes, I remember that. So, and you know, Aberdeen. Uh, Hearts back in this competition next season. Have to win the qualifiers. Hibs in the qualifiers as well. Aberdeen guaranteed European group stage football as some description. Well, they're in the same position as Hearts, aren't they? If they lose their Europa League, they'll go at the conference. Yep, and then Hearts are in the same position that I think it was Dundee United last year. It beat 7-0. Where they, like, they need to win twice, I think, to get in yeah. the group stage. I for, I, I'm not going to lie, see, I was talking to someone at work and we were talking about Rangers and I was thinking they were in the, the, the playoff round with the Champions League, but they're not, it's just the second last round, isn't it? Because I forgot they played that Union last year and then yeah. it was PSV. So they've got two, yeah. two qualifier rounds to get into the Champions League. So, yeah. yeah it was last year, right? We'll talk about that in the summer. We will. I'm hoping to see if any Welsh teams... Uh, and the Conference League are, at, well, they will be at home at some point. I'm hopefully going to get to at least one Conference League qualifier down here. That would be good. I think when Mother will be by Sligo. Is it Sligo? I think it was Sligo. Was that was last only... year? Was that the year before? It was this summer because I was at my new job. I remember talking about it in the toilet or something. Was it, and then Kelly were Connor's key nomads? Was that the year before? Oh, maybe yeah, the year before. I must have been. Yeah. Was... Kelly just came up this season. This is like the first season, though. Yeah. yeah. 
Remember that? Oh. Mother will get beat by Sligo Rovers. Mm-hmm. Right, um, and then the Big Daddy final. Uh, the UEFA Champions League final on Saturday. Uh, Manchester City versus Inter Milan. Can Man City win the treble? They've already won the first two. This is the third. This is the one that's been giving them the, the problems. You'd be surprised if they couldn't. Yeah, well, I hope so, because I said Man City and you said Real Madrid. I think you'll find that's a PSG. Oh, well, well, even worse. He's said Bayern Munich. I think I get an extra 20 points in the predictions for no. uh, they played a, me and Kyle talked about it on Saturday they played a strong team against United minus Ed, Ederson so I think no I think that'll be it's a week bef- between the games so they'll be fine Pep does that and Pep kind of always has done that with the kind of cup goalkeeper thing hasn't he mm-hmm. yeah Walter Smith used to do it. Uh, Neil Alexander used to play instead of Al McGregor back back in the day, I remember. What teams do it? Yeah. Kyle Hart sense. played for Liverpool yeah. in the League Cup final, I remember as well, Kyle. I'm sure the FA Cup as well they played in. Makes sense, right? Well, he's got him there, so it makes, it's only right that he gets to play the final. Should be a decent game. I'm quite looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, everybody's saying Man City are the favourites and that, but remember 2020, which was Chelsea. I can never write off uh, Inter either. They're one of these teams. They're, so. they're for a reason, so... Yeah, exactly. They are there for a reason. Their reason was that their draw was quite nice. Do you want to play who you're given? Yeah, exactly. got players in front of you. Yeah, I right. think Man City should be on a different level for them. They could have an off day. That's all it takes one off day from a few players. How many off days have Man City had this season? How many games they lost? Not very many. <laughs> Not many. There you go. Right. Yeah, when they play shite, they still play well. Yeah, to be fair. Well, that's, I think that's the, an attribute of a, of a decent team. Even when they do play bad, they still manage to get a result. That's what Rangers have been lacking the last few seasons. But I'm going to stop talking about them. Right. We've been talking. I'm going to move on to the game where he's not making any more points. I think that's me. That's me. I've said it. Said my piece. Did, why did he sing that? It was awesome. <laughs> I didn't say uh, it. I said, well, my headphones must have glitched because it sounded like that's me. <laughs> uh, right, we're talking about the Scottish Cup final. So, my first first thing is to do with that. I've had to make you small on my screen, so. Um, right, if we get correct answers always, there'll be a. Incorrect. <laughs> and so on and so forth. I'm trying to be different. Um, a different format this week, so you got to bear with me. Right. So, Scottish Cup final was on Saturday just past. Um, wait, 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 let me set this up. Right. Since, I'm going to go back to 2000. It's a post, yeah, a to post-it the, note. 2000, yeah, put it away. 2000 to the current day. What does that say? Is that a shopping list? No, it says adapt for a press release. Um, so I'll go back to 2000, the 2000 Scottish Cup final. 2000 to the, to the current day, I want you to name anyone that scored in a Scottish Cup final. Who's the reigning champion? Craig. So Kyle goes first, I believe. Oh. Jim Thompson. Sorry? Jim Thompson. Right, getting our Queen of South on it. Right, give me a second. Oh, wait. Correct. I might just shout correct, I need a type. Stevie Tosh. Do, do, do. Correct. Chris Boyd. Right, I just need to... I'm t- ticking them off my list. But I know that's correct. Oh, you get two things for that. To Marcus Beasley. Ah, oh, Kyogo. Shot her. David Green. Shit, that's a good one. That is a good one. I didn't think of that. Stephen Nasser. I don't think that's right, though. Uh, wait, two seconds. Oh, 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 my screen's Balance of probabilities. 
I'm panicking now. Why is my aware I can't see him on the list? That's because it's wrong. Right. I'll, I'll run through these really quickly. Right. 2000 was Rangers versus Aberdeen. Uh, Van Bronckhorst, Vidmar, Dodds and Alberts. Uh, that was 4-0 Rangers. Uh, 2001 was Celtic 3-0 against Hibs. Uh, McNamara Larson scored twice. Uh, Rangers versus Celtic. It was Rangers 3, Celtic 2 in the 2002 one. Uh, Hartson, Lovenkrantz, Baldy, Ferguson, Lovenkrantz scored twice actually. Uh, 2003 was Amoruso. I'm just gonna, I'm, it's gonna take ages. Yeah. I'm just gonna read the name. Skerla, Larson, Petrov, Thompson, Scatchel. I don't think we need all of them. Scatchel. Ryan McGuffey, Ryan McGuffey okay. being a notable one. Obviously, you got all the players from the Rangers three, Queen of the South two. Novo scored the year after. Uh, yeah. Good Willie, Boo, he scored. And uh, Conway two as well. Uh, I think Cooper, Ledley, the likes of them. A lot of them are replays. More recently, I got stuck on Rudy Scatchel's name and just gave up. Sean Rudy <laughs> scored for St Johnston when they won in 2021. Yeah. Last season was uh, Jack and Wright for Rangers in extra time. No, sorry. Yeah, in extra time. Uh, Edward, not well for Celtic. Kyle got David Gray in the game against the 3 2 game against Rangers, but Stokes, Miller, Halliday, and Stokes again also scored in that. Yeah, Griffiths. Yeah. So, yeah. right, close that tab. Here we go. Okay. Um, also, this Saturday was the FA Cup final. I want you to name since 1990 any team that's appeared in the FA Cup final. Kill okay, start. Be great. Big, sorry. Uh, Wigan Athletic. Correct. Man United. Oh, my dinger stopped. I'm just going to have to read correct or not. Oh, my God, the whole computer's frozen. Well, we know Man United's correct, so Man City. Yeah, give me a sec. My, oh, my, I'm actually, my screen's just went. Right, two seconds, pause the game. Oh, I'm having some technical difficulties right He's now. He's having an absolute nightmare. Kyle's racking his brain. I just need to try and remember the ones that I know. I've got quite a few. I've got a, I've got a handful as well. My, I, hope, I hope my list is frozen. I can't access it. <laughs> right, give me two seconds. Is that a sound effect off. or was that Kyle? <laughs> right. Now my phone's frozen. He's having an absolute nightmare. You don't need to remind me. Uh, well, put my hands on some good stuff at the weekend. So. Uh, this is not going well. Are you, are you are racking your ball. brain for some as well, Kyle? No. Right. Sorry, right. Who? Greg said Man City. you correct. Or Man, 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 Man United. Who are we on now? It said Wigan, Man City, Man U. Right, yeah, Wigan, Man City, Man U are all correct. It's me now. So, Liverpool. Uh, correct. Arsenal. Correct. Chelsea. Correct. Portsmouth. Correct. And when is it? 1990. Hmm. Stoke City. Correct. Cardiff City. Correct. Uh, Wimbledon. Uh, that's right. Yeah, I thought it was, but I can't find them on my list. 996 or 97, is it not? Also. Well, I thought they were, but unless they missed them off this list. This is going to make me of a round. Do you want to Google it to check? If we're yes. both convinced. This is me trying to do my new thing and my computer has just completely frozen. I can't even see the use on the screen. I can still hear you. That's a shame. Um... 1988. It says oh dear. Oh dear, Kyle. So it's incorrect. See, that's wrong. That's broken. Right. Who started? Me. Big, so it's so. fine. But just the right. check. Ever Everton's right, isn't it? I mean, I, th I think so, but the whole fucking thing's gone now. Saha scored. I was sitting on, I was sitting on Hull for ages as well. But I'll just I, was, I was sitting on Hull Brighton recently. 
You better see this yourself because my whole black hole is last packed, year. Yeah. Last year wasn't it Brighton? Man, Liverpool won it last year. Was it Watford as well? No, that Watford was the one I was thinking about. No, Brighton weren't on it. That's good. I didn't go for Brighton. Right. It's one each. Yeah, it is, but my, my thing's frozen. I can't do anything. Right, I think I can do this. If I phone off. Oh. Right. Excuse me. Uh, two six. Right, I've got a bit. Right, this is fine. I can do this one. Uh, I just need to say correct to that because my the same board's also packed in. Cool. Um, obviously we've also been talking about the Europa Conference League final, but I want you to give me any team that played in the tournament, so like from the group stages onwards. In the Europa Conference League this year. Yep. Kyle? Right. Kyle. West Ham. Correct. Fiorentina. <laughs> Correct. Basel. It's an order of groups, so not an alphabetical order. Yeah, correct. Lech Poznan. Remember those teams that came down to the Europa League as well. Correct. Oh, well, these are just the groups that started then. Oh, well, that's not. I think. I'm not going to know the difference. <laughs> Easy, dog, come on. Yes, correct. Heart of Midlothian. Bastard. Correct. That was the first team I wrote when I did my practice. Sure. My dog's barking. Um, this is a wild stab in the dark. I've lost it anyway. Is it Cluj? Cluj? Clues or something, Romanian. Yes, correct. Gank. Uh, West Ham is Gent. Oh. On my list. They're two different teams. Yeah, they are. Well, I think Kyle's won. Yeah, my well computer, done, Kyle. My computer is frozen. I can't play anything. It's just it, doing that wee buffering no. thing. I mean, if you can still see me, then Discord's obviously still running in the background, but I can't actually get off my browser tab. Ah, uh, they were in the they were they West Ham did play them uh, in the Europa League last year. I was wrong. Uh, I got right. Genk and Genk mixed up. He's got his thing back. Well done, Kyle. I can't see, so I'm assuming he's got his wee title. Yeah. Can you can you can still see me, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can still right. see you. It's fine. Well, well I'm currently blind. Can't get off. Right, I'm not. I'm not. Next time I make this quiz, I'm not using this format because my whole thing has crashed. Right. Um, I'm trying to find some other answers in case anyone's interested. And it was RFS. I was trying to remember what the re the Latvian team were called: the Shakhtar here, Anderlecht, Villarreal, um, Nice, Is it Altmar? Which we said, Shamrock Rovers, yeah, and some other really small Zara. teams. Yeah. What's well, good? 2 1. The champ well is done. back. Well done. Apologies about that nightmare of a game, but my uh, technology is all good until it starts working. I feel that like I'm back at. Huh? That lets. Yeah. Carry on. Oh, sorry. Uh, I feel like I feel like back when we first started recording this, when we were just doing it on audio and there was no video because I can't actually see anything. How we've came on since then. Right, I think that's us for the week. Uh, I put the survey up. We've had a few replies, but we need more. So I'll share it again on the on the on the Twitter, and Kel can put it on Instagram. But yeah, thank you very much for listening. This has been episode 31. We've got a few exciting weeks coming up, so keep your eyes peeled. Peels? Peeled. Thank you very much. Cheerio. See you later. Godspeed.